world, it's your girl Brittany, and today we have 2012 Olympic gold and silver medalist, Cullen Jones. Thanks for coming to see us. Thanks for having me. You've had a phenomenal time in the Olympics these past few weeks. Um, what has been kind of like your most memorable moment so far, like, you know, it's, winning gold and silver? Yeah, in 2008 um, was my first Olympics, and I went out with the team because I was in the, on the relay, and um, I think the most incredible moment was my first time going in this time as an individual swimmer. So going out on deck by myself and having that many people, you know, that huge, huge arena and everyone staring at you. Mm -hmm. That moment was uh, I'm trying to keep myself composed enough to perform. That was probably uh, being able to do it, of course, <laughs> was, was my big moment. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like rituals that you do before you swim? I'm always listening to music. I always have my headphones on. I have a hoodie on. Um, those are the two things I need before I race that are mandatory. Um, I was listening to before my races, no church on the uh, no church in the wild. Okay. That's what I was listening to going in. Okay. And who else do you usually listen to? Uh, I'm a big Lil Wayne fan. Jay Z, um, uh, Drake. I'm a big fan of J Cole too. I, I like what he's coming out with. Okay. So a lot of people may not know, but. You actually, you know, had your first brush with, with water and drowning when you were, what, five years old? Four, five, yeah, yeah. At a swim park, right? A water yeah, park? Yeah, I was actually at an amusement park. Um, only child, my parents said we're going to a water park, so I was excited. Um, my dad, who was 6'5 at the time, said he wanted to get on the largest ride there. And I'm like, okay, he's my mentor. Yes, that's what I want to do. It's my inspiration. So we go down this ride, and I end up flipping upside down. Uh, I think what's important is that I was completely supervised. I mean, I had my mom, my dad there, I had uh, tons of lifeguards there, and I still was able to go underwater and, you know, pass out, and they had to pull me out and completely resuscitate me. And then my mom got me into swim lessons within the week. <laughs> You're one of few black swimmers to make the Olympic team. Um, why do you think that, or why do you think it's important for black people to urge their children to get out and kind of get over that fear of the water. Because, like, my parents can't swim, but my mom always made sure that, you know, I took lessons. Why, why do you think that's important? I think it's important because a lot of parents think that they can completely shield their children from water, but that's not going to happen. I mean, every place that I go with Make a Splash, I'm, the first question that comes out of my mouth on purpose is, how many of you kids like to be around water? Every hand comes up. You're not going to be able to completely control your children. They might go to summer camp or a friend's house or somehow get to the beach or some some form of water. The easiest way to take care of that is to give them swim lessons. Now the problem in the black community is is that we have the stigma that we don't swim, you know? And that's that's something we need to get over. We need to change the perception of swimming. You know, walk, talk, learn how to swim. You need to make sure your child learns how to do that so that you're giving them the proper tools so that God forbid something happens, they can they can take care of themselves. Um, so your teammate, Ryan Lochte, has, has kind of been in the news for his friendship or relationship with K. Michelle. If you could pick any celebrity to date, who would you want to date? Uh, Zoe Saldana? Yes. We love yeah, Zoe. Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 